Hello friends, this video on physical and chemical changes part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this, uh, I think we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So let us quickly look at some of the questions. Question number 1. Classify the changes involved in the following processes as physical or chemical changes. Photosynthesis. So what happens during the process of photosynthesis? It is the process by which plants prepare their own food using carbon dioxide and water. So during this process carbon dioxide and water combines in presence of light to form glucose that is carbohydrate C6H12O6 plus oxygen. So basically you see new chemical substances are being formed. So therefore this is going to be a chemical change. So photosynthesis is a chemical change. Next is dissolving sugar in water. So when we dissolve sugar in water, no chemical reaction takes place as such. No new chemical substances are formed. It is just that sugar and water, they remain together for some time. And also the change is reversible. So when you heat this sugar solution, what happens is sugar and water get separated out. So this is a physical change. Burning of coal. Burning of coal again is a chemical change because when we burn coal, lot of heat is released, light is released and at the same time ashes are produced. So chemically they are different from coal. Melting of wax. So melting of wax again is a physical change. Why? Because in this case, chemical composition remains the same. Wax still remains the same. It is just the state changes. For initially, it was solid and now when it starts melting, it becomes semi-solid. And again, it is also a reversible change. So, it is a physical change. Beating aluminium to make aluminium foils. So, when we beat aluminium, we are only trying to change its shape. So, only the physical the property is being changed. Chemically, it is still the same. So, this is again going to be a physical change. Digestion of food. So, when the food gets digested, it is broken down into simpler forms. So, chemically, it is changing. Carbo complex carbohydrates are broken down into simple sugars. Similarly, proteins are broken down into amino acids. Fats are broken down into fatty acids and so on. So, digestion of food is a chemical change. Question number two. State whether the following statements are true or false. Cutting a log of wood into pieces is a chemical change. So when you cut something, so it is only the shape and the size that is changing. Chemical composition remains the same. So basically this is not a chemical change, it is a physical change. So the statement is false. Formation of manure from leaves is a physical change. Now how do we form manure? So, do you know how exactly do we prepare manure? So, all the leaves and all the vegetable wastes, they are taken together and then they are all mixed together and they are kept uh, put and you put some water and allow them to get completely rotten and that's how manure which is rich in organic matter is produced. So a lot of chemical changes take place during the formation of manure. New substances are being formed which are rich in uh, organic matter so therefore this is not a physical change it is a chemical change so this statement is also false. Iron pipes coated with zinc do not get rusted easily. That is true because when you apply a coating of zinc, zinc do not get rusted. So that's how it protects iron also from being rusting and this process is called galvanization. So this is true. Iron and rust are the same substances. This is false. What is iron? Iron is Fe. What is rust? It is oxide of iron. So they are different substances. Condensation of steam is not a chemical change. That is true because when you condense steam, what happens? You get water. So steam is also H2O, water is also H2O. So chemically it still remains the same. It is only the state which is changing from gas to liquid. So it is a physical change. So obviously the statement is correct that it is not a chemical change. So it is true. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. 
Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.